welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly the Twister Sister and I have got a ton of brand new holiday balloons that I cannot wait to share with you guys over the next couple of weeks. So if you want to see some fun holiday balloon ideas, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel because we're going to be posting them every Tuesday and if you're not subscribed, you might miss something. We don't want that. So this week, as you can see, we are going to be making this adorable little reindeer headband with a bow, or you can easily turn it into a little bit of holly. <laughs> my favorite, of course. I think this is going to be a new favorite for my menus, and I hope it's a favorite for you as well. If you want to add it to your menu, I do have clip art available for this, or if you're a member of our clip art vault or in the twister hood, you get access to all my clip art images included with your membership. So you can just go grab it right now over in the vault. To make this design, you're going to need one 260, whatever color you want to do your antlers in. I tend to do a blush color, but you could do brown, you could do gold would be really pretty for this time of year. Um, I've got a green 260 for the bow. Again, you could just do a red bow if you want to make it simple and use less balloons. Um, but I thought the red and the green looked really nice. So I've also got a red 260 as well. So then you're also going to need a headband blank. Um, my favorite headbands to use are one inch headbands. And I don't care if they're clear or black or any color. Um, I tend to have clear ones in stock. And then they don't have any teeth. It's smooth along the bottom. I guess teeth wouldn't really cause too much of a problem um, in most situations, but you don't need them, so why pay the extra to get them? Okay, so a one inch headband works best in most cases, and then you just need a scrap to help tie everything together. So I'm gonna start off with the antlers, and I'm gonna be working with my blush colored balloon here. I've left about a three inch tail there at the end, and we're gonna start off uh, working like from one end down and up to the other end. Okay, so I like to do uh, this longer part here about a hot dog's length and then I like to give it a little bend and you can straighten it out if it gets too bendy, but just give it a little bend and then we're going to do a small loop. So just fold your balloon over and twist. And then we're gonna put a pinch twist right here so that we can keep things somewhat straight. So I'm gonna do a small round bubble and pinch twist. Now, if you have another way of doing antlers that you really like, I spent a lot of time <laughs> trying out different uh, antler designs to see what I like. Sometimes they look like balloon dog heads. Sometimes they look like someone's legs and feet sticking up out of your head. So this is the one I settled on, but I'd love to see if you have a favorite way of doing antlers around the holidays. Um, please post those in our Facebook group where we all post pictures of the design each week. And I'd love to see how you guys modify this. Okay, so there's one antler. I'm gonna come down just a little ways and we're gonna do two pinch twists. This is gonna be our connection point to the headband. So one small round bubble, fold your everything over, get that bubble out by itself, twist, and same thing again, a small round bubble, and twist. Okay, so now we've got half of our antlers done. We're gonna do the same exact thing coming up on the other side. So we're gonna need a bubble here to match this one, and then we're gonna need a little loop and a pinch twist. Now, if you time this all out perfectly, you won't have to cut anything off your balloon. It'll just already be the perfect size. Let me rotate this stuff around. So the way I have this is so that the loops are in towards the center of your antlers, okay? You could turn it the other way like this, but I think it looks, I don't know, maybe that looks good too. It's all trial and error. Okay, but I'm gonna leave it how I originally came up with. So turned in like this, and then we're gonna do a little bend on the other side to match. Oop, I got a little extra length there by squeezing my balloon out. Okay, so now it matches perfectly. Ta-da! Okay, there's some antlers for our 
headband. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and attach, attach the antlers by just taking a scrap 160 that you probably have in your bag. It could be 260, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna take this from the middle of the antlers, bring it down and tie it onto the bottom side of our headband here. You definitely wanna make sure to cut off any tails that would be hanging down in someone's hair. <laughs> Nobody wants that. So cut that off so that it's nice and flush and you don't have any balloon getting in the hair because that's not ever fun. Okay, so there's our antlers. Now we're gonna do a little bow. You could go simple with this and just do a red bow and then you have a great holiday line work design that only uses two balloons and doesn't need any artwork, like win-win there. Um, or you could go a little extra and do a little holly on your antlers. So I've done two leaves or bow petals, whatever. <laughs> you could do three, you could do another green one here in the middle. I think that would kind of be cute too if you are going for that holly leaf look. Um, I'm kind of going for a cross between a bow and a holly leaf. Okay. So I'm gonna fold over my green just a little bit to make that first loop, grab the knot, and push your nozzle through the center to lock it in. Same thing for the other side, a matching loop over there. All right, so there's our little bow petals. And then I'm gonna grab my red 260. And this is another thing where you could change it up you could just do one little red ball in the middle, so it's more like a bow, um, which I did when I was experimenting with this design. I do have one like that. So here was an earlier experimentation of this design where I did the bow that just has one little uh, round berry in the middle. And I think that's cute too. You can see what I mean with these antlers. They kind of look like someone's legs up on top of your head. Didn't really like that. Uh, so I've got this red 260 here and I'm just gonna do three pinch twists in this to get the little berry look. So um, one little small round bubble, grab your knot, drag it around, do another small round bubble. I'm gonna fold everything over and just twist that small round bubble around itself and got room for one more pinch twist, okay? And I'm gonna try to kind of line these up so that they're all facing the same way, kind of vertical oriented. That way when you're looking at them head on, it looks more rounded like berries, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this to give myself a little bit longer of a tail. And we're gonna wrap that around the center of our green petals or green loops here. I'm just gonna do like a figure eight to lock that on there. Okay, and now if we get rid of our green tail, and again, leave ourselves a nice long tail, then we've got two little tails here that we can use to tie this onto our antlers. So the trick when you're tying this on is you don't want to jam it in there super tight and like twist it into these pinch twists here because then you're gonna set the antlers back and things will get out of place. So we left ourselves nice long tails so that we don't have to pull these super tight when we're tying it around the base of our antlers. So we're just gonna take the tails right around the base of our antlers. So they're above the pinch twist, but I'm not pulling them tight uh, to get them like snapped in there. I'm just wrapping them around, okay? So just kinda as tightly as you can get them without really having to stretch and pull on things. So I'm gonna do a little double knot here. And then just straighten things out. And you should have your nice little bow or holly leaf just sitting nicely and right in front of the antlers. So it's not pushing on anything and it's also not coming down to where it's gonna push the headband and lift it up off the head. They are just sitting right in front of the antlers there as you can see. Okay, so then the last thing to do would be to trim off your tails and you've got a super fast, super cute holiday headband 
that is going to, I think, really be a crowd pleaser at your events this year. So one thing um, about placement on these, as you can see on mine, I've put it right in the center top of the headband. And I think that looks pretty cute because that is where antlers usually go. But you can also, I don't know, it's a thing about headbands where if it's off to the side, like not centered, that's kind of cute too. So you could kind of skew it off to the side and see if you like that as well. So, you know, your choice, whatever you think works best for your audience and what you personally and artistically find to be better looking. Um, but I'll leave that up to you. I think for these antlers in particular, I kind of do like it right in the center. So let me know what you think in the comments. I can't wait to see your take on this design this week in our free Facebook group. So please make sure to try this out. And when you do, take a photo to share with our community over on Facebook. You might have noticed I've got my holiday balloon animal garb on. We do have these available if you want to get them in time for the holidays I would order yesterday <laughs> uh, so this is the balloon dog Christmas lights dress I really love it but then if you want something that ships a little bit faster I have some new jewelry that we've made as you can see we've got adorable little balloon dog reindeers come in two adorable colors in the pink and red or the green and red. He's got their cute little antlers on. And these will be available as earrings, keychains, and necklaces as well. So just a cute little something simple that you can add to your outfit to add a little bit of holiday cheer when you go to your events uh, this year. So that's it for this week's video. Stay tuned to my Facebook page. We are gonna have some fun Black Friday deals and sales coming up. So I'm getting ready for Black Friday events now. If you've been thinking about joining our membership, the Twister Hood, stay tuned because we are gonna have a big Black Friday promotion for joining the Twister Hood. You might get some fun extra goodies if you join around that time. But if you don't wanna wait, doors are open now and you can get in there as soon as you need to. So. Links for everything I've mentioned are down in the description below. If you enjoyed watching this, make sure you're subscribed so you can see more videos just like this. I will see you guys back again next Tuesday. Until then, I'll be hanging out in our free Facebook group. I'll see you guys over there. Bye, everyone.